Right, uh, we're on with John and his base fertilizer, and as you see, 5% nitrogen, 7% phosphates, and 9.7% potash. That's ideal for tomatoes, it's a good base dressing. Have a look inside, I've got a scoop ready. Now, this scoop, I've actually weighed it, the contents of it, and it holds 18 ounces of fertilizer. So that's going to be, I want six ounces to square yard, so it's going to be put on three square yards. I've measured it out and I've put a little mark on the bed, as we can see the little line across. This is where the fertilizer will go up to, so we'll just spread it. Now that's not on thick, but there is a coating which is approximately six ounces to square yard there. I'm more than happy with that. So we'll just give that a small break in now. These beds were watered last Saturday when I actually dug them over. Um, I had my grandson down, he actually put the hose pipe on them for me, give them a watering. They're just moist underneath, the wind's dried the tops off. I just don't want this fertiliser to blow away with this wind. Now these beds will be soaked again. I'll work my way along the entire bed, uh, doing the same. So that's six ounces of John and his base fertiliser going into these beds. The only other thing I would possibly contemplate this year would be some dried blood if the plants aren't growing well. I'll give them a tiny little bit of dry blood. Uh, if they're growing all right, then they won't need any more dry blood. On the far side we see stock plants, these are leeks all the way along, they're lovely and clean and they're actually growing very nicely, move along a bit so we can see, all the centres are opened up on them, they're all nice and clean, uh, they could do with the watering and once again that bed had nothing applied to it for 10 years, so I am actually going to put some fish blood and bone between the stock plants just to help them through this current season. To produce nice seed heads and stock stock leaks for future years uh, again i'll put that on probably about four ounces per square yard and i'll keep it just slightly away from the plants i won't touch the plants a so good watering and these beds will not be touched now until i put plant pots in then i'll cover them with black membrane i uh, will cut holes through the membrane to where the pots are when we come ready to plant out, I'll just lift the pot out and drop the plant in and there'll not be any disturbance of the roots. But I will follow it through again later on as we, as the next step. Thank you, bye bye.